When you think of the most ruthlessly efficient predators of the deep, what comes to mind? Great white shark, giant squid, seahorse? Anthony here for D News, and it's true, a seahorse successfully devours 90% of its intended prey. The great white shark, for comparison, only catches about 55% of its intended victims. Okay, so at 0.6 to 14 inches long, even a 90% kill rate doesn't really make the seahorse the most terrifying hunter in the deep, but clearly they've got some sort of crazy advantages over their victims. What is it? It's definitely not their speed. Seahorses are one of the slowest fish out there. They beat their fins about 50 times a second, but it doesn't really get them anywhere. And copepods, those are the tiny crustaceans that seahorses like to chow down on, are extremely adept at sensing the vibrations in the water caused by an oncoming predator. And when they do sense those vibrations, they get out of there fast at a speed of about 500 body lengths a second, which is roughly equivalent to a six foot human swimming 2000 miles an hour. So what does it? What is your secret, you weird yet majestic sea thing? Researchers at the Texas Marine Science Institute were determined to find out, so they used incredibly high speed cameras with lasers on them, so you know that they are super sciencey, to watch a seahorse attack a copepod. And what did they find? It's the head. A seahorse's head has a very unique shape. You uh, <clears throat> probably already noticed. But here's why. Right above and in front of the seahorse's nostrils is an area shaped in such a way that it doesn't leave a wake. There are no water vibrations when the seahorse strikes, meaning that it is effectively invisible to its prey. It strikes so quickly that by the time the copepods notice, they're dead. Seahorses are the slender man of the sea. And if the copepods do try to bolt, they fall prey to pivot feeding. Seahorses do this thing where they rotate their heads and use suction to draw their prey in. They come in invisibly and then they suck their prey into their jaws. Seahorses are optimal killing machines. Also, they have creepy eyes. I hate seahorses now. You know, there are a lot of seemingly innocuous things in nature that want you dead, and I talk about them every week on my other channel, Nature Hates You. The channel is based on my shirt, which in turn is based on the novel Push by Sapphire. Go check it out. This week, I freak out about turkeys, appropriately enough, and don't forget to subscribe here for more D News.